The Toyota Prius was the world's first mass-produced hybrid car, and it still might be the most famous of all time. But in recent years, it has become a victim of a changing market and perhaps its own success. The nameplate was once synonymous with hybrids and a symbol of the automotive future. The Prius catapulted Toyota to the lead of the hybrid market and showcased the innovative prowess of a manufacturer often reputed to be conservative, even a bit boring. But now, sales of the Prius are falling. After Prius took off, rivals took notice and competition has grown. Gas prices have also fallen, and engines have become more efficient, making hybrids a tougher sell for many customers. And with fully electric vehicles from makers such as Tesla now capturing the attention of buyers and automakers, the trailblazing Toyota Prius is no longer the cutting edge of eco-conscious driving. Hybrids are not going away anytime soon, but the question for Toyota is, does the Prius brand still have a bright future, and what does that look like? It is important to understand how much of a breakthrough the Prius was when it first came out. It was a totally new technology that boasted unthinkably high gas mileage, and it became more popular as consumers increasingly worried about the price of fuel and about the environmental impacts of gasoline emissions. In the US, Honda beat Toyota to market by a few months with the Insight, which also happened to beat the Prius in fuel economy. But that vehicle was a small two-seat car with only a manual transmission, and air conditioning was optional. Even in the US, the Prius was the first hybrid that could truly compete with ordinary gasoline engine cars. Its EPA fuel efficiency rating at that time was 48 miles per gallon, far better than just about anything else on the market. The second generation Prius was particularly popular and introduced the futuristic styling that became a signature of the line. Perhaps knowing that many of its customers would be early adopters and well-heeled buyers looking for a highly fuel-efficient choice, Toyota also made the smart decision to pack the Prius with technology and other features that were relatively rare at the time. From the very beginning, the car was something of a phenomenon in the automotive market. It was an affordable, accessible vehicle that appealed to a wide audience, including customers who had the money to spend on luxury vehicles or sports cars, and might not normally buy a Toyota. So when the Prius first came out, it was really a very innovative product. Um, it was not like anything we've really seen, a hybrid vehicle. It was a little scary for some people, um, but it was really very popular. In fact, there was a really long waiting list for it because it really stood for really high fuel efficiency and whatnot, and it was, it was something to be seen in. The car was known for attracting attention from Hollywood actors such as Leonardo DiCaprio and Cameron Diaz. It was also a fixture in popular culture, featured prominently on television shows such as Comedy Central's South Park and HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm. A character on the Showtime TV show Weeds, a drug dealer, bragged that the car's quiet electrified powertrain made it good for sneaking up on people. It was almost a brand of its own, not exactly a Toyota, just a Prius. But the Prius's time at the top was bound to end. Sales peaked in 2012 and fell from there. And it isn't that hybrid sales have been falling. In 2000, the Prius had 59% of the hybrid market in the United States. Its share peaked the next year at 77%. But by the end of 2018, the Prius family's share had shrunk to 19% of the total. During that time, the total hybrid and plug-in share of the car market grew from 0.1% in 2000 to 2.7% in 2018. There were a few factors that contributed to the Prius's decline. Part of the trouble was simply competition. For a time, Prius practically owned the hybrid category. It was far ahead of competitors in terms of technology, and the company had a strong brand in the Prius name. But over time, others caught up, and hybrid technology lost its novelty. Soon, it became a feature customers could opt for when picking out a vehicle. Now, many automakers, including Toyota, sell electrified versions of sedans, sport utilities, crossovers, and even pickup trucks. 
There is also less incentive among customers to buy any type of hybrid, for a few reasons. First, internal combustion engines have improved considerably. Automakers are squeezing more power out of smaller, more efficient engines, often by using features such as start-stop technology, forced induction, and others. Gas has also become a lot cheaper as the Prius name has aged, and high fuel costs were one of the major factors driving the technology behind the car. Fuel prices across the U.S. hit $4.10 on July 16, 2008, their highest recorded average for the country in history. But in 2018, the price at the pump fell as low as $2.26 a gallon on average. The gas prices plummeted in 2000, uh, late 2014, and that era has really stuck around 2015 through 2018, relative affordability and that's really put Americans' interest in hybrids kind of back, uh, certainly set them back. Americans have actually gone to the opposite, less fuel efficient, bigger vehicles, because in the background of all of this, cafe standards have slowly improved average new fuel efficiency of even big trucks. So uh, we've come a long way. Toyota also no longer seems to be positioning the vehicle as a sleek, tech-heavy car for early adopters. Current Priuses still come stocked with technology, but they no longer seem ahead of the pack in what they offer. In some ways, they even seem a bit behind. This doesn't mean the Prius is a bad car. For example, Consumer Reports still recommends it. Yeah, we liked it to, from the beginning, and we still like the Prius. I mean, the Prius is kind of like the eat your vegetables car right now. I mean, it's a car that really does everything very well. It's reliable. It's got safety features, um, the top safety features. Um, it's It's got a lot of value, and it's got great fuel efficiency. So it's a really smart car to get, but no, it's not as sexy as some of the competitors. It just no longer looks like the most revolutionary vehicle in fuel-efficient driving. Perhaps that honor now goes to Tesla, which has upset the automotive world with its boldly designed pure electric sedans and SUVs that emphasize luxury and performance. And for people who really want to stand out and they want to have something that's innovative and showing that it's about the future, they're going to things like the Tesla Model 3. I mean, in Southern California, that's really the hot car. That's the car that's really about the future, not the Prius anymore. The Prius was exceptional among cars in that it was a more affordable vehicle that could still lure buyers who might otherwise opt for a luxury sedan or high-end sports car. But now many of those early adopters and well-heeled, eco-conscious drivers are flocking to Teslas, say many industry observers. Furthermore, Tesla's success has now spurred rival automakers to play catch-up with it in the way they once did with Toyota. Now practically every major automaker is racing to launch pure electric vehicles of all types and at all price points. In fact, industry observers have said Toyota is actually a bit behind in the development of pure electric vehicles. Toyota is determined to keep hybrid vehicles relevant, even if it means releasing its own intellectual property to potential challengers. In April of 2019, the automaker said it will allow competitors royalty-free access to its 24,000 patents on hybrid vehicle technology through 2030 in a bid to encourage the wider adoption of hybridization. I think in some ways Prius has been a victim of its own success, right? It, it started that revolution that has rolled out so that there are, there are many other choices now when it comes to alternative fuel vehicles. And it's fascinating because the first three generations of Prius, it was really an idea that people bought into and wanted to associate with. But by the fourth generation, hybrids were so sort of more normalized in the market that Prius became more of just another vehicle. In the meantime, it continues to release new versions of the Prius. In May of 2019, the company unveiled the 2020 Prius Prime, which starts at $27,600. It comes with some of those key standard features missing in its predecessor, such as Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM, and Amazon Alexa compatibility. While the industry seems to be moving toward electrics, opinions vary as to how long that transition will take and how smooth it will be. So hybrids are likely not going anywhere soon, but while the Prius name may have once been synonymous with them, it could end up being just another car.